This is an article on how to protect yourself. If you completed watching the videos I made on operating system security, encryption, secure communications and becoming a hacker, then you're already a few moves ahead of the FBI, federal government agencies and law enforcement and several moves ahead of the general public. I'm now going to show you how to be 10 moves ahead of the FBI, federal government agencies and law enforcement, 20 moves ahead of the general public and a few moves ahead of your fellow anonymous. This article guide and video will show you how to secure your identity, identify FBI, federal government agents, confidential informants, investigators, journalists, psychological operatives, insurgents, trolls and counter operatives, securing your identity and remaining anonymous. Section 1. Choosing a PR link for IRC, networks, Twitter, Facebook, Google services, YouTube, etc. and VPN information. Your PR nick should be different from your anon nick and the two should never be related to one another. You will need to purchase two different VPN services from two different VPN providers. Do not use your personal credit card or any information that could lead back to you when you purchase the VPN services. If you can't pay for VPN services because you don't have accounts on the web, get $25 cash and go to Walmart or some high traffic store, wear clothing you wouldn't normally wear with a hoodie and glasses. Park somewhere outside of any camera's view and buy a Visa or American Express gift card. Go to a payphone outside of any camera's view and call the number on the back of the card. Speak to an operator and tell them you want to be able to use it online. They will flag the card with that ability. Write the card number down and all the numbers on the front and back of the card and then burn the card. When purchasing VPN services make sure you read their terms of service and privacy policies to verify that the VPN service provider does not log any activities on their service. Ano9 VPN is a recommended VPN service provider currently because they do not log, but just because they don't at the moment doesn't mean that they won't log in the future, so keep an eye on their terms of service and privacy policies. Section 2. Creating a backstory for your PR nick. Make sure to create an elaborate backstory for your PR nick. Find a city in a state far away from you and make up a name that sounds legit. But make this name an extremely common name like George Smith, Jr. Choose a middle school, high school and college that your fake name went to that corresponds with that city that you chose. Choose a place that this person works at that corresponds with the city that you chose. Home address, phone number, etc. You now have three alter egos that you need to maintain and keep them all separated from each other. Never allow any information to implicate the others. You now have an anon nick that you will use for hacking on one VPN service and you have a PR anon nick affiliated with Anonymous that deals with PR activities on the other VPN service. And lastly you have your fabricated and elaborate fake name which all adds up with the background you chose. Use the fake name and its information to spread disinformation to trolls, feds, cops, law enforcement, intel gatherers, doxers and anyone seeking to collect any information on your PR and on Nick, because trust me they will definitely try it. This is also how you can identify them as enemies and rule them out to be either a troll, fed, cop, law enforcement, doxer or possibly what we like to call a sabu. Make sure you give up pieces of this information little by little so they actually think they're getting info on you. This will keep them interested and cause them to go in a different direction for a long time. Be sure to record any information that these information gatherers tell you or ask you into a nifty document on your encrypted drive so that you can cross compare statements made by different nicks and rule out who is who and what nick is the same user as their other nick. Always remember this. A real anonymous member is not interested in collecting information on you or doxing you. The ones doing that are trolls, doxers, feds and cops. A real anonymous member is focused on operation security and operations themselves and they don't get involved in drama with their current nicks. Absolutely under all circumstances. Do not give out any real legit truthful information about yourself or family or friends. If you go on to the radio or camera for PR or to goof off, always keep your face covered and your voice mask with voice masking software. There is now software available to feds to identify your voice print by comparing it to voice prints in a large database. Same thing goes for your face. Do not use your VPN services for personal use. 
do not use your PR Anonymic VPN for your hacking Anonymic purposes or vice versa. Do not release any statements or information that would implicate any activities of any of your other NICs. Keep your hacking Anonymic style of writing different from your PR Anonymic style of writing. When using your hacking Anonymic be sure to focus only on operation security and operations and hacking. When communicating with other Anons using your hacking Anonymic keep it straight and to the point. Keep your group small or even go solo lone wolf to prevent any trolls, cops, feds or doxers from infiltrating your group. Section 3. Download KeyPass Password Vault from the link provided in this tutorial text. Use this software to generate random passwords and store them in a 256-bit S encrypted file. You can use this software to generate passwords for every Anon account that you create, and each password will be different than the password on other accounts. This is nifty in case one of your Anon accounts are compromised for some reason. No other accounts will be compromised. This keeps each account isolated from the other and also prevents hash string forensic comparisons. Section 4. From here on out, this is the path you took by watching my video and text tutorials and e signs. I have demonstrated all of this to be true. These methods work. A hacker uses whatever works. You are now an anonymous computer hacker. With your computer system secured, hardened, you now have basic exploitation knowledge such as SQL injection, cross-site scripting, remote file inclusion, local file inclusion and buffer overflow exploits. You have knowledge of zero days and you have the intelligence and cleverness to use and manipulate all of these. You can upload shells to servers, root the server boxes and connected servers, force a back connection to your command and control interface for denial of service purposes to be used politically and for social change. Your identity and anonymity is secured from the enemy, you are now anonymous. The next set to learn is computer programming so you can begin writing your own hacking tools. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Because none of us are as cruel as all of us. United as one. Divided by zero. Expect us.